Howdy, Matt Deckard here, and I uh, just wanted to do a bit of a rambling chat about the uh, the new era retro crown hats that have just come out. This is the L.A. Dodgers version. I just did an unboxing in my last in my last video, and I have the Brooklyn Dodgers version. L.A. version is it's a polyester. The uh, Brooklyn Dodgers version is a wool. Brooklyn Dodgers version has a cotton sweatband, white. I've been wearing it a lot. I love it. The uh, L.A. Dodgers one has the uh, black, I believe, polyester. Uh, again, this is this is wool, soft crown. It's got a bit of a uh, polyester interfacing that's not fused to the wool. And unlike the regular 5950, it, it does not have the... Uh, the buckram and the plastic inside to push it up to have that sort of trucker look that we are used to nowadays. It very much looks like an old school cap from the 30s or 40s. If you look at even even posters from back then, you see the crown kind of uh, falling in on itself just because it's it's soft and it has just a nice. I like how it has a, a good old school baseball cap look to it. Uh, a couple things I wish they had done and uh, I mentioned this also in the unboxing, was the squatchy on top. It should be white. I wish they did that uh, properly. Um, something also that um, makes it less retro, I guess, is the, the, uh, the, uh, the em embossed, embroidered logos. Because if you look at the, the LA on this one, it's the current embossed logo. That's, uh, they, they put a bit of like a, a foam rubber under underneath the embroidery and it makes it stick up and it it kind of holds it up a little more not that bad it looks but it still it looks like a retro baseball cap if you're out there and uh on the field it, it doesn't look like your standard modern day 5950 it, it does look like a vintage cap especially the brooklyn dodgers one this this one carries the b that uh jackie robinson 42 had back in 57, back when the Dodgers moved to L.A. This is the, the B from that era. I do, I do wish that they'd release this cap with that figure eight B that uh, Jackie Robinson started out with and just do a nice soft crown. Okay, so that's, these are again the, um, the retrofit new era caps. And uh, White Squatchy is the only thing I'd really advise to to do if they they put out other versions of these for the Dodgers but it it just very much looks and feels like you're wearing a ball cap from the 1930s and 40s just that nice deep fit and I love it uh, these two came with flat bills the um, the website says they they come with curved but I, it might be a, a factory thing but I'd expect it to come flat and I kind of like doing the the classic 1930s and 40s, uh, just bend of the bill. So, but if you if you like it, just tell me what you think in the comments as well. So that's that's the new low crown retro fit new era caps. Uh, again, white squatchy. Uh, something I got last year, I just showed you it was this. This is the low profile. Uh, Brooklyn Dodgers cap, and it has the, the figure eight B, which is the one that uh, Babe Ruth wore and Jackie Robinson uh, started out with. Uh, interesting difference in this is it does have that buckram back plastic. Yeah, if you uh, if you look closer at it and shine a light, it kind of reflects back because it's, it's a bit of a filament inside. And this I was very happy for because of the fact they put released that B. Uh, the low crowns don't look as good on me. But interestingly enough, as much as I like the boxier fit, this low crown, you can look at, uh, type in Gillette, Pee Wee Reese, uh, Brooklyn Dodgers, and uh, look on YouTube, and you'll see guys that are wearing caps that look very much like this, but just softer. And, again, white squatchy. Now, they do come with the, the Batterman logo on the back, and uh, th this one comes with a subdued New Era flag. I actually took the uh, New Era flag off my 
um, retro crown cap, and I took off the Batterman off the on the back. It actually had the big Batterman, but I went with the exacto knife and a lot of time, and just just wanting that classic clean ball cap look. I plan on actually swapping out the squatchy for a white one on both of the the uh, both the retro crown hats. Okay, outside of uh, these versions that they put out, the low profile with the figure 8B and the retro crown ones, which are just very soft and they're like vintage ball caps. Uh, last year, New Era put out some pretty interesting Brooklyn Dodgers caps and Dodgers caps. It was the anniversary of the Dodgers moving to L.A. from Brooklyn. So what was released as an exclusive to Europe was this cap, LA Dodgers, all wool, white squatchy, Brooklyn Dodgers, all wool, white squatchy. I've actually modified this so it looks kind of more like how they wore it back in the day. They, a lot of guys would crease the crown even though it's, even though it's a low profile. But what's uh, interesting about this is they, they went very retro on the design. They've got leather sweatbands. This has a, I believe it's a, a sheepskin, and uh, it's got a reading. Reading is, uh, it's like a welt on a shoe. It, it a lot of times went between the leather and the hat itself, and it made it easier to change sweatbands. Not really needed in ball caps because they were sports where you'd beat them up and they'd get thrashed and you just replace the hat. But it's a, it's just a lot of nice... Uh, details and nuances retro let's see if I can get that to focus retro logo inside a retro size tag and uh, also made in made in China this one as well satin uh, on the uh, inside seams on both of these anyway pretty cool hats very hot they're they're a, a heavier flannel than I'm used to I think th these are just much more fashion hats than they are uh, hats for sporting. They're just warmer to wear. And they've got that leather sweatband, which, uh, like with dress hats, I wear a lot of dress hats, it creates a bit of a gasket on your head. It just seals that heat in. So if you go to, uh, which is why I kind of prefer cloth sweatbands, because it's just easier to take care of, easier to replace, and just takes care the not as hot, not as hot to wear, and I'm in California. So, these two, again, European issue only, subdued, new era flags, uh, no Batterman on the back, and something for the Japanese market, only put out for the Japanese market, was this 1920 version, uh, 1920 profile of the new era Brooklyn Dodgers cap. This one has a felt figure eight style B. And uh, I've only seen one reference shot of a on-field worn uh, felt patch version of the B. And if you know what years th that was, guys, tell me. I'm actually, uh, I've got it somewhere with the year written down with it, but I'll, uh, I'll find it. Maybe I'll leave more info when I post this in different places. Again, I wish they'd put the white squatchy on top. But it's it's pretty cool. I, again, I don't. Uh, I'm still more keen on the look of the bigger bill. I like that kind of more th 30s, 40s look versus the 19 teens and 20s style. But very nice. It's a wool and uh, polyester blend flannel. And again, it has the uh, Batterman on the on the uh, back of it, and it has the New Era logo flag subdued on the side and I don't know if I was more uh, interested in wearing this one I might just take the the uh, Batterman off the back something to also point out is that uh, there's a lot of different design styles when it comes to New Era's 1920s caps they've got the eight panel versions they've also got um, ones that have the the seam that's on the, uh, let me see, underside of the crown, which 
many of the ones in manufacturing now do not, which, I don't know, manufacturers back in the 20s, some did, some didn't. What I like about it is it gives me uh, more of a boxy fit in the crown versus this, which is just very more, much more, uh, too, too cone-shaped for my eye. Anyway, that's just a bit of rambling on, on New Era's vintage-style caps. And uh, this this one I actually really do like. This was a Huff HUF release. And this 1920s style, I do like. It looks like I just walked out of, uh, you know, a vintage movie. It's harder to see, I think, in the light with the dark color. But back to the Brooklyn Dodgers really quick. I just want to say I, I wish New Era uh, would put this version out. And uh, with the embroidered figure 8B, where they have the sudage stripe that actually goes uh, down the seam, stops in the B, and then continues down. I think that's the hard part about the manufacturing. Um, a couple companies do this, and they put a felt B on there to try to cover the the issue, but it's it takes time to actually put that stripe on, then embroider, then continue with the stripe. So that's just some information on the uh, particularly you know Brooklyn Dodgers and Dodgers but particularly the retro crown editions I uh, I hope you liked it I'm gonna do a little more uh, research and write up on on these and a few other companies like uh, I still have to do a little more on the ideal cap company coming up and the Stockbridge Sewing Works also more retro cap makers. The one that seems to get a lot of attention when it comes to vintage style baseball caps is Ebbets Field Flannels and I believe New Era by putting out these it's really going after that crowd that's been buying the Ebbets Field Flannels because this is the this is the, the classic full crown baseball shape but soft like Ebbets Field puts out right now and uh, I love it. I, I just want to see again maybe flat Embroidery, figure 8B, white squatchy. Uh, I wish I didn't have to pick out the uh, extra logos that are on the hat. Outside of that, though, it's it's what I've been wanting for years, just a soft-crowned Dodgers cap. Anyway, I'm Matt Deckard, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.